Hello violinist, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're playing the old oak tree from the Shooting Stars book. I'll play it for you first. absolutely love it. Now we've got to find out first what the finger pattern is like and as you probably noticed from the last note this piece is written in the key of C major. So let's play the C major scale and arpeggio first. When, when we play the scale I would like you to really work on your left hand position this time and I want you to make sure that your wrist has not got any dent in it at all so your wrist is really nice and straight your knuckles here are level with the E string. So be careful if this is you, that you lift up your knuckles a little bit higher. You can see the different levels, can't you? So your thumb should just be peeking over the edge and your knuckles here should be level with the strings. So here comes the C major scale. We're, play, we're playing every note twice with long bows. One, two, three, four. now and if you're super clever you can perhaps say out loud the letter names of each of the notes which are going to be C E G C. I only say the letter names of the notes on my way up the arpeggio not on the way down. After three here we go and C E G C the top Properly warmed up now. Now let's go from the beginning and let's play the old oak tree. The tempo that is indicated in the music is andante and andante means a walking pace. Now I suggest that because this is about an old wood maybe, about the old oak tree, we're taking it quite easy and we'll go for a gentle stroll to begin with. After four, one, 
shall we? Let's work for a little bit on the rhythm of the second bar. We see that dotted crochet and a quaver and I'm going to subdivide this dotted crochet into three quavers. So I'm going to count it like this. One, two, three. Will you do that with me? We'll just play the first two bars. Three, four. rhythm really precise and I want you to make a habit of subdividing that dotted crochet whenever it comes in the music. Alright, now I'd like you to think about something different. When we go from bar one into bar two, we're going to not only change our bows from an up bow to a down bow, but we're also going to change strings and we've got to get that timing of the bow and the left hand fingers precisely accurate so that both go at the same time. I'll show you what I mean. You see, I'm starting precisely at the right time with my bow. If you sound anything like this, your timing isn't quite as accurate. So I want you to listen really carefully and time it so that you've got a really smooth transition from that last note of bar one where you're on the D string into bar two where you're on the G string. Now this time let's play on a little bit further. We're going to start from the beginning and at some point we're just going to come to a little stop to think again. From the start, one, two, three, four. I'd like you just to say the word rest, rest out loud because you want to fill up that time in order not to start too soon after the rest, okay? And then when we play this, I'd like you to think about the length of this last minimum C. You should hold it for two counts and not be tempted to shorten it in any way. So I'm starting on the rests, funnily enough. So I'm going to get started, second finger on the string, and I'm saying rest, rest, one, two, rest, hold it, two, rest, rest, one, two, hold it, rest. Well done. 
so you've made the last minimum of every bar really nice and long so you're not running ahead of the music well done very nice playing have you noticed also that during the rests i leave my bow on the string so i'm not taking the bow off and then putting it back on again no it just rests there all the time so let's go back to the same rests where we started a moment ago so this is the beginning of bar nine i'm counting us in for two rests rest Rest, leave the bow on, rest, leave the bow down, and rest, going now Excellent progress just in a short space of time. Well done, very nice playing. Now we're going to play this piece one more time and we're going to work on the louds and softs now. So there is a lot of loud playing in this piece and I want you to really use the bow and make it as long as you possibly can except for the last two bars because there it's really quiet so there you can use much shorter bows. Okay. Be careful that you don't run out of bow because there's one bar and that is bar 20 where you play a double length bow. So let your bow go really slowly there so you can fit four counts on one bow. After four, here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> possibly can now. Really well done. Very good. So if you've enjoyed this lesson please can you like it and share it with your friends. Also if you haven't already done so do me a favour and please subscribe to the channel. Any questions of course as usual or comments do write them in the comments section below and I'll, I will get to see these so I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>